Hi everyone. Sorry it's not an upbeat hello or anything. Um, basically I'm here just to tell you that with everything going on at the moment in my life and some recent news I've had, which I'll tell you about in a second, I'm just not able to keep up with my YouTube channel at this present time. Um, it's breaking my heart with that because I really love doing this. But and, it, and I'm not going permanently, I am going to be back, I promise you that. But just today, um, it's currently Monday and it's the, not that this matters to you, but it's the 4th of April, so you can see how soon this is. My mum went into a rehabilitation um, unit at Colville, which is half an hour's drive away from here. And basically she's only been standing and walking for, I would say, less than a week. And now she basically wants to go home, which she's in her right to do. But, of course... If she's wanting to go home this week, which looks like Wednesday or Thursday. The possibility of me keeping my mind on uploading videos for you or upload the ones I've already got pre-filmed is just impossible. Uh, it's just impossible. My mind is not on the editing. My mind is not on any of it. Um, and of course, my mum will come first above anything I enjoy which is this she will come first always will come first even though she's a stubborn old sod she will come first um she's been in like I say she went into that unit on the previous well last Monday evening and she wasn't standing at or anything news came to me on the Tuesday with a call that she'd also broken her leg when she did her hip but that was not told to me by the previous hospital and that big hospital the Leicester Royal Infirmary I am making a huge complaint because I was barely told anything when doctors called apparently you're supposed to have your hand attached to you 24 7 and when you don't answer that call they won't call you back you can't call them because it goes straight to a answer service and so you get promised by the staff I know they're overworked but this is ridiculous um, get promised that you're going to get a call from a surgeon nothing happens you get promised you're going to get a call from a doctor and nothing happens I got left in the dark so many times by that hospital it is ridiculous um, they also failed to tell my mum at the time when they moved her to a single room that she had COVID. They also failed to tell her that she had a broken leg as well. They failed on so many occasions. They failed me and they failed my mother. So I am going to pause and I am going to report this because this is disgusting. Anyway, this was not what I came on to say, but obviously I'm clearly rattled by that anyway. So anyway, she moved to the rehabilitation hospital um, on the Monday, like I said. And only just started the next day or so, <coughs> excuse me, to start standing up and walking. Let alone the fact was they gave her a catheter. They inserted a catheter so she weed in the bag. And she couldn't open her bowels without some kind of help. And she still got a catheter on. Actually, no, she did tell me this morning when it ran that she hasn't. And she's going toward it properly with that. But it doesn't look like the other end's working properly. And yet, they will let her go home if she wants to discharge herself. Which, they haven't really got a choice, have they? They haven't got a choice in that. So anyway guys, basically I'm here to tell you that with all this going on in my head and with the 
fact is I've got to go in now and get a few bits in that fridge because the milk that was there before had to be thrown away and etc etc because it was you know going bad and you just can't leave that there um and now I've got to stock up the fridge ready just in case but I'm going to pick up the long last milk because I know that will last because it's what I have um also gotta like make sure everything is looking fine and, and right I was told last week there was because I had to take some measurements of seating position on the sofa etc etc and that there was going to hire things up this does not look like the case anymore so I've been failed again um just when you think you've got someone that's going to do something and then they just fail you um so I'm not particularly happy with our NHS service at the moment with the care that she's received with the care that hi well with the information I've been given or very much a lack of uh, yesterday my mood was just like rock bottom because I saw this coming I could feel something was going on sort of thing uh, just not with anything right now just nothing is I can't process anything in my head um, so yeah, um, like I say, she comes first. So I could be away from YouTube for a few days to a few weeks. I really don't know, but I just can't do both together because I won't put out poor content. I just won't. Um, I was due to do a collaboration, but I've also put that on hold. So yeah just everything going on so if she does come out of the hospital on um, Wednesday Thursday time I want everything ready for her obviously I do the carers have also got to be alerted because that is not for me to do but I bet you I'll end up doing it because it seems that way um, the carers are going to be alerted and she'll probably have to have some more carers go out in case she's still, you know, if she's got to have a pad on because she can't get to the toilet in between times. Um, it just makes me wonder why they would actually let her come out so early. It's beyond me. Yeah, she's able to do what she wants and she can discharge herself. But surely there has got to be something there where someone says, Look, you're not ready yet. Because what I can see happening, she comes home on the Thursday. Saturday or whenever she's going to fall over again. And we're going to be back at stage one at the damn big hospital in town, which is let me down already. So, yeah, as you can imagine, my stress levels are so high that I can't put out content for you guys right now. I'm really sorry. Um, but just bear with me. I will be back as soon as I can. If I can update you, I will more than likely be doing that on my Instagram page to let you all know. So, if you're not already following me on there, the information as gone through already but I'll tell you again it's a little miss budget 2020 all characters small letters um but yeah that's where I've been mainly uploading to, um not uploading that'll be mainly where I will update you all but if I can push out another video just to let you know how things are going on I will do but just bear with me um I've just got to take this hiatus for a bit just to sort things out and get things right. Once things are right again, I'll be back. I'll be my usual happy, smiling self and we'll get on with some makeup looks and all that kind of thing and the collaborations I've got planned because I did actually ask Nona if she'd like to collab with me again and now that's on hold. So, yeah, you can see where this is going. So, 
that is all I have for you today, guys. Please do all the good stuff. It really does help us small time YouTubers out, as I keep saying to you. And I will actually see you as soon as I can. Goodbye, everyone.